All new here at 10 parks and playgrounds are at the center of debate again in Beaumont. $79,000 are on the table for what could be a new playground at Babes Areas Park. But tonight some city leaders are telling us they're on the fence and they wonder if that's the best way to use the money. Now tomorrow city council members will hear recommendations from the Parks and Recreation Committee. And then they'll vote about new playground equipment for Babe Zaharias Park and also for Combest Park. As Ebony Coleman reports, this issue got tabled two weeks ago. I've actually seen people, uh, mamas rushing up there to try to get there first so they can stake their claim to the gazebo so they can have a birthday party for their family. It's it's not enough. Beaumont Ward 2 Councilman Mike Getz believes he has a solution. Well, I'd like to see the money that is currently being considered for purchase of playground equipment in Zaharias Park be reallocated to put a covered shelter, a pavilion at Rogers Park. That's $79,000 of the city's $1.4 million park and recreation budget that could be used towards a $150,000 pavilion at Rogers Park. Get says contingency funds could cover the rest. It's the hairiest part. That is the soccer fields. It's only used on Sundays. There is literally a park with new playground equipment two blocks away called Cottonwood Park. We asked Beaumont Councilman at large Randy Felshaw to weigh in as well. I want to make sure that all the citizens of Beaumont are serviced. But he can understand both sides. I saw it as the soccer field. But I can't understand that when there are parents there with small children, that they're going to want something, a facility there where their children can play. Will playground equipment be in the future for Babes Heirs? That question is expected to be answered in Tuesday's City Council meeting. And have all the information uh, from the staff, the Parks and Recreation Department, from the committee. We just want to be able to make the best decision that we can of where this money is to be allocated. That is Ebony Coleman reporting for us. Councilman Feldshaw is encouraging families who use the parks to attend tomorrow's meeting and make your voice heard. That's happening in the city council chambers at 1 30.